let's just ask the Lord again to come and bless us with his beautiful presence. Father, we've gathered here on this very important day in our country, July 4th. We celebrate our freedom, which means our freedom to worship you from the dictates of our own heart and our own conscience, and we're grateful for that. And we're glad that you have truly blessed America. We're in the land of the free and the home of the brave, and we thank you. And we're glad that on this special day we can all come from across this great district and converge at Manville in this great tabernacle and just have a great time in you. Jesus, bless those who will sing this afternoon. May we be a singing, praising people and a church, for we have a reason to sing. Oh, Christ, bless this encampment from now until the final conclusion, and may the results when they are tabulated be many, many folk one to the kingdom of God, strengthened, filled with your spirit. Bless us, and we'll praise you forever. In Jesus' name, amen. amen. Praise God. Well, we appreciate our boys and girls, don't we? Amen. And what a beautiful sight is sitting over here. Come, and the little lady here is going to take charge. And they're going to bless us this afternoon with great things that they have. Don't they look pretty?
Amen. We love the boys and girls. And she wants me to tell you if there's any boys and girls over here that wishes to go with him just now, do so. And they will be having their own singing and stories and things. So you can join them now, okay? Amen. Thank you. Thank you. Brother and Sister Hans, we all know here on the district, Lord bless them as they sing. If you're looking forward to seeing heaven someday, your home supernal, your home eternal, say amen. amen. I'm looking forward to heaven more and more every day. And now it's a happy warm of heart. A land of peace and love, oh, it makes me feel like traveling on. Eternal, so pearl, oh, I'm so glad that it's real. Since childhood I've heard of a heaven, I wondered if it could be true. That there were bright mansions eternal somewhere beyond the blue. I pondered, could people really go there? Till one day sweet Jesus came in, and I caught a vision of glory. I saw with all heaven did land, and now it's heavy home of a land of peace and love, oh, it makes me feel like traveling on. Eternal, supernal, I'm so glad that it's real. Someday heaven's gates will swing open, redeemed of all ages shall see. The throne sending bright rays of glory on a mansion that's built for me. The tree of light there by the crystal river, and mother who was saved by God's grace. And all the ones gone on before us, won't heaven be a glad, happy place? And now it's a happy home above. A land of peace and love, oh, it makes me feel like traveling on, eternal, supernal, oh, I'm so glad, I'm so glad, I'm so glad that it's real, and now it's a happy home of love, a land of peace and love, oh, it makes me feel like traveling on, eternal, So glad that it's real. I don't want a mansion 
just seemed in vain. Then that nail scarred hand reached down and gently touched me. Now I have Jesus, and that's worth everything. It's worth it all to feel this fire that's burning deep within. It's worth it all to know I'm saved and I am free from sin. Just to feel His touch and know that He's coming back again. It's worth it all. It's worth it all.
courthouse square. On a park bench, an old man was sitting there. I said, the old courthouse kind of run down. He said, no, it'll do for our little town. Well, I said, the old flagpole's leaning a little bit. That's a mighty ragged old flag you got hanging on it. He said, have a seat, and I sat down. He said, this first time you've come to our little town? I said, think it is. Well, he said, I don't like to brag, but you know, we're kind of proud of that ragged old flag. You see, we got a little hole in that flag there when Washington took her across the Delaware. She got powder burnt the night Francis Scott Key set up watching her, right? Oh, say, can you see? She got a little rip in New Orleans with Packenham and Jackson a tugging at her seams. She almost fell at the Alamo beside the Texas flag. But she waved on, though. got cut with a sword at Chancellorsville, and she got cut again at Shiloh Hill. There was Robert E. Lee and Grant and Bragg, and that south wind blew hard on that ragged old flag. On Flanders Field in World War I, she took a bad hole from a Bertha gun. Turned blood red in World War II. She hung limp and low by the time that one was through. She was in Korea and Vietnam. And she went wherever she was sent by her Uncle Sam. And she waved from our ships upon the briny foam. Now we've about quit waving her back here at home. And in her own good land here, she's been burned, dishonored, denied, and refused. Here some time back in Iran, she was badly abused. She's getting kind of threadbare. She's wearing kind of thin, but she's a good old flag for the shape she's in. And she's been through the fire before, and she can take a whole lot more. So we just raise her up every morning. slowly every night. We don't let her touch the ground. And we fold her up just right. On second thought, I guess I do kind of like to brag. Because I'm mighty proud of that ragged old flag.
facts and know the truth. America is struggling to survive. America is the greatest, and on our freedom we can all rely. But if we don't turn to God, I'm afraid the land of the free will die. If we would change our ways and humble down, then God would heal our land. If before that old cross we would kneel, then America would stand. And above any other, I love this land, and I'd really like to see its people pray and ask the Lord to help the land of the free. stand for what is right, then our boys who died, they died in vain. And our fathers served our God, and it looks to me like we could do the same. If we would change our ways and humble down, then God would heal our land. If before that old cross we would kneel, then America would stand. And above any other, I love this land. And I'd really like to see its people pray and ask the Lord to help the land of the free.
choir and all of those who participated. Ushers come, let's receive an offering today. We believe in what we're...
many of you haven't met Kip's wife, Tammy? And of course, you haven't met my beautiful grandbaby either, but she's asleep right now, or I, or I would have her come. But she's asleep. Tammy is Kip's lovely wife and one of your evangelists here for people the first day. And we will sing together. Amen. Stand with me, please. Let's sing then. Sings my soul, my Savior God to thee. We all know that. Join in, please. Then sings my soul, my Savior God to thee. How great thou art. How great thou art. Then sing. Ah! 
push that pedal down as far as it'll go. And when we get to the high part, let's just soar right up, praising the Lord and thanking Him for what He's already done. Amen. And our wonderful privilege to live in America and to be free in the Holy Spirit. Are you ready? Sing it again. Then sings my soul.